So as I read this story, I thought to myself, here is the father looking for a bride for his son. And though she was beautiful, not very, she was very beautiful, though she was chaste and sexually pure, the first thing we are told about her was not her beauty, nor her chastity. The first thing we are told about her is her shoulder, that her shoulder was carrying a picture. Before anything else, the first observation was is that she had a picture on her shoulder. I want to tell you from Scripture, with that picture in mind of a young, beautiful woman with a picture, heavy picture, carrying water on her shoulder, that when the Bible speaks about shoulders, it talks about a posture of serving. That shoulders speak about bearing load and serving. Topics that today don't find much relevance in the church. I mean, who has time to that? Everything just double, double. Blessing, blessing, blessing. God blessing me, blessing, blessing. And you have to be careful to know. Because notice, it was in their time of prosperity. They couldn't hear the word of God. I think sometimes when things we are on our face and we're listening and we need to hear the word of God, but when everything good uh, cock back, I start to get lazy. Or if, okay, all right, you're getting money off the church, right? But here it is, beautiful woman. What's going on, is he? Right? Beautiful woman, first thing the Bible says, she has her picture on her shoulder. I want to talk to you from the heart of God that God's indictment against them is that they pull away their shoulder. They were so interested in them that they lost the heart and the posture of serving. Everything was about them. And if you read this story in context, he says to her, um, he says to her, um, he goes to her and he begs her a drink from her pitcher. And the Bible says, as, um, as she goes and she gets him um, the water to drink, without him even asking, he had 10 camels and she begins to make trips to and fro to make sure that all his camels are watered. Hmm? Come on. A picture of a woman, a type of the church, beautiful and chaste, and with one thing in mind, I am here to serve. To serve the stranger. She didn't know him now. Her hard disposition was coming there, hard working. Let me tell you, see, in all your, when you look for a woman, look for a hard working woman. Hello? Somebody say amen, no? Give me your answer. Come on. She had a picture, she come to work. She didn't come, come model and post by Instagram and uh, she come, come work. Her, the posture of her heart was to be of service. It's almost like she coming down, she going pipe. She brought up on her shoulder. She pitch her on her shoulder. And she coming down and you say, Can I say, oh sure, you want some water? Come on, sure. Oh, those are your camels? Hold. Oh. Don't worry, I get some more water. You want some water? Come on. I'm coming back. I don't know how much trip she make back and forth for feed 10 camel. I was going to try to do, do some maths to see how much pitcher one camel can drink. But she made several trips with your fine self with the pitcher on her shoulder bearing the burden of the load of service. In a world where everybody wants star, God said, me look upon your shoulder for see the pitcher to see what 
burden you're bearing for the church. I'm looking for a bride. And my first thing I'm looking for is a prettiness. Because Solomon said, beauty is vain. In this context, we're talking about a church. Because a woman is a type of the church. And think about it. He said, I don't care if they have big screen. I don't care if they have AC. I don't care if they have big, big, big building. The first thing I check in for is to see what she has on her shoulder. Hmm? She looks so good. Yeah. The first thing God look for at her shoulder to see the picture. To see what load are you bearing. In a, in a time of convenience and comfort, God says, I am still looking to the shoulders of people to bear my burden for this lost and dying world. 